won't defect in aggressive periodontitis as compared to chronic periodontitis. So we are asking, we are talking about pattern of bone loss. in aggressive periodontitis. Now all of us remember that there is a very typical arc shaped bone loss associated with aggressive periodontitis associated with first molar and incisors. This is the classic of aggressive periodontitis. It can also extend up to the premolar, second premolars. There is usually a bilateral symmetry. which is known as the mirror image pattern. So these are the radiographic features basically of aggressive periodontitis. But the options here are different. The options are wider, shorter, longer and is same. So for that we need to visualize this in a better way. So this is an IOPA of a normal healthy periodontium. There is no bone loss. This is completely filling the area. Looking at chronic periodontitis, there is horizontal bone loss everywhere. Can you see that? Whereas in localized aggressive periodontitis, there is an arc shaped bone loss. So this kind of bone loss is wider as compared to that in chronic periodontitis. So aggressive periodontitis will have wider bone loss then chronic periodontitis. So the answer is A, wider, periodon wider bone loss. The same can be seen. Okay, these are all arc shaped defects. Can you see they are wider? The correct answer like I told you is wider bone loss.